It's 10 trivia questions on Z on the menu. Foods that contain the word Z. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and having some fun with me in your ears today. You can listen to the show on Spotify. All the episodes are on there. iTunes, Google Podcasts, etc. Wherever you listen, all the episodes should be there. If you have some sort of player or app that doesn't show you more than like the last hundred new episodes, I do know that uh, Spotify, I I'm almost positive, has all of them on there. If you're looking for some older episodes, you've gone through all the new ones or the last hundred or what have you, go check out Spotify and let me know if that's the case. If you want to support this show, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. I don't run ads. I have before. I don't really like doing it. Um, So Patreon replaces the money that I would get paid to run ads on this show because we do get about uh, between one and 2,000 downloads a day and about 40 to 50,000 downloads a month. And we're up to almost 2 million for the existence of the podcast, which is really cool. So um, I get hit up all the time by weird advertisers that are like, hey, can you plug, uh, you know, meal kit things? And I'm like, I don't, no one's going to do that. It's just stupid. It's a waste of time. Uh, If people want to do that, they can listen to other podcasts to get those codes, right? Uh, They're on every podcast. So on this one, if you want to support patreon.com slash trivia with buds, I will, however, support, like if you have a business, if you are a trivia host um, or you are a Etsy shop owner and you listen to the show and you're like, hey, I want to run an ad. Um, I'll do that for you for super cheap. Um, So let me know if you have a product you want me to advertise. I will do those kind of personal or friend or listener type ads. I just don't like the big ones where it's like type of the code burp there to get a free pack of smab of that. That's stupid. Uh, So here we go. Let's do some warm-up trivia before we jump into Z on the menu. Here's the first question. What Disney Channel title character endured the nickname Sweet Potato and Frizzy? That was Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Next question. What sport evolved from equipment used by foresters to mark trees to be felled? That is paintball. They used to mark them in that way. And uh, using those, uh, I'm guessing a gun, like a paintball gun to shoot and mark the trees. Paintball was the answer. And what ailment did Ashley Simpson's dad blame for forcing his daughter to lip sync a song on Saturday Night Live? Never heard that excuse. Said she had acid reflux. That's why she had a lip sync, acid reflux. Oh man, if you've never seen Ashley Simpson on SNL doing her little hoedown dance when the music skips, go check that out. It's on YouTube forever and ever. All right, today's episode about Z on the menu foods that contain the letter Z. We're going to do it right now. Here we go. It's Z on the menu. Question number one. What is the name of the sausage originating in Spain and Portugal? A spicy version that's popular in Mexico. Number one, what is the name of the sausage originating in Spain and Portugal? And a spicy version that's popular in Mexico. Number one. Question number two, Potterville, Michigan hosts an annual fest for what poultry organ often eaten fried? Number two, Potterville, Michigan hosts an annual fest for what poultry organ often eaten fried? Number three, what is the name of the white cheese of Italian origin generally made from cow or water buffalo milk? Number three, What is the name of the white cheese of Italian origin, generally made from cow or water buffalo milk? Number three. Question four. What type of dark-skinned grape used to produce red wines? What type of dark-skinned grape is used to produce red wines? Number four. Number five, what is the penne-like pasta, usually broken into two-inch pieces? Its name comes from the Italian word for fiancé. Just asked this one on something. I think it was a crossword puzzle recently. Number five, what is the penne-like pasta, usually broken into two-inch pieces? Its name comes from the Italian word for fiancé. Number 
Number six, this nut is used to make frangelico. Its most common variety is the filbert. Number six, this nut is used to make frangelico. Its most common variety is the filbert. Number seven, what is the name of the thin pancake whose name is of Yiddish origin? Number seven, what is the name of the thin pancake whose name is of Yiddish origin? Number eight, what is the generic term applied to a cocktail consisting of gin, carbonated water, sugar, and lemon juice? Number eight, what is the generic term applied to a cocktail consisting of gin, carbonated water, sugar, and lemon juice? Number nine, although made from a red grape, the white version of what wine accounts for almost 10% of U.S. wine sales? Number nine, although made from a red grape, the white version of what wine accounts for almost 10% of U.S. wine sales? Number 10, what is the name of the cracker-like flatbread substituted for bread during Passover? Number 10, what's the name of the cracker-like flatbread substituted for bread during Passover? And number 11, for two points, what is the name of the cucumber sauce traditionally served with euros? For two points, what's the name of the cucumber sauce traditionally served with euros? Those are all your questions for Z on the menu. Now I'm hungry. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Z on the menu. Let's see if you got all these foods and drinks and things correct. Or not. Number one, what is the name of the sausage originating in Spain and Portugal? And it has a spicy version uh, that's popular in Mexican cuisine that is chorizo. Chorizo. Number two, Potterville, Michigan hosts an annual fest for what poultry organ often eaten fried? Gizzards. Gizzards. Number three, what is the name of the white cheese of Italian origin? Generally made from cow or water buffalo milk. That's mozzarella. Mozzarella. Number four, What type of dark-skinned grape is used to produce red wines? Shiraz. Shiraz. Number five was ziti, the Italian word for fiancé, and it's penne-like pasta, usually broken into two-inch pieces. Ziti, like baked ziti. Number six, this nut is used to make frangelico. Its most common variety is the filbert hazelnut. Hazelnut. Number seven, what's the name of the thin pancake, whose name is of Yiddish origin? A blintz. Blintz. Number eight, what is the generic term applied to a cocktail consisting of gin, carbonated water, sugar, and lemon juice? Fizz, a fizz. Number nine, although made from a red grape, the white version of what wine accounts for almost 10% of U.S. wine sales? Zinfandel, Zinfandel. And number 10 was matzo, matzo. What is the name of the cracker-like flatbread substituted for bread during Passover? Matzo. Your bonus for two points, what is the name of the cucumber sauce traditionally served with gyros? That's Zaziki sauce, T Z A T Z I K I, Zaziki sauce. It's very tasty if you like euros. And that is your quiz for today. Thank you so much for listening and telling a friend about this podcast. Your fact of the day is all clownfish are born male. All clownfish are born male. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for booking a party at TriviaWithBuds.com. Something you got going on. We could do some bingo, some trivia, some game show, some family feud, some scavenger hunts. Whatever you need me to do in person or virtually, I'd love to do it for you. Go to TriviaWithBuds.com to see all the options under the games tab. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.